how to build the most profitable Google AdWords company search campaign. And trust me, this is the best campaign you're ever going to make. Yo, what's going on everyone? Shri Kanase here. And in this video, we have slightly changed gears from always doing Facebook ads and other Shopify tips and tricks to Google AdWords. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you one specific campaign that you can create today to get an amazing ROI. And I have this campaign opened up here on my Google AdWords account. But before jumping into the main steps, just check this out guys. So the cost of this campaign so far ever since I launched it, which is around, let's go ahead and check, around June, around the beginning of June, has generated me $1,718.80. And I only spent $179.20. Guys, this is not photoshopped. Let me go ahead and refresh this page just to make you guys believe me. But okay, this is getting refreshed now, but this is an amazing campaign that I found out in June and began implementing on my Shopify store. And as you guys can see, it has given me over 1000% in ROI. So let's go ahead and change this again to all time. I think this is glitched. Let me change this up really quick. Last month and then all time. And all right, it has loaded up. So it is showing me by month now. But if you guys check over here, the cost again is $179 and conversion value $1,718. And we're going to be going over exactly how you guys can make such a campaign in this video. But like always, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button down below. It takes literally two seconds, but it keeps you up to date with these videos that I put out. And I'm sure you guys want to learn how I got over 1000% ROI. So make sure to stay updated by clicking that subscribe button and let's just jump right into it okay guys so i'm here in my campaigns dashboard and what we're going to be doing is going ahead and clicking the plus button in order to create a brand new campaign so just go ahead and click that plus button and we want to click on new campaign and once you click on that you'll come over to this page we want to go ahead and click sales it's just like facebook ads we want to be optimizing exactly for what we want so if you guys want leads or website traffic, you want to optimize for them. But in this case, we want sales. So that's what we're going to be doing. And for this company search campaign, we're going to be selecting the search campaign. So just hit that and click on website visits. And you want to write your website URL over here. So for us, we're just going to be doing example.com. So example.com and click on continue. Once you do that, you'll come to this page. This is where we start creating our search campaign for our store. So you, for the campaign name, all you have to do is just write in company search campaign or your store and then search campaign. So example, E-X-A-M-P-L-E, search campaign. And for search network, we do not want to include Google search partners or the display network. We want to stick to google.com. So go ahead and uncheck these. Make sure they're unchecked and go ahead down to locations for this type of campaign i would personally recommend that you target all countries and territories and the main reason is we're not specifically advertising any specific product for this campaign but we're rather advertising our whole website and let me tell you guys the importance of this campaign and why i even have it running right now you may be thinking if People are already searching for your campaign. What's the point of spending money trying to get people to click on the ad when all they're doing is just typing in your store's name? Well, the thing about this campaign is, let's say your store name is just store name. So let's just write it here just for example purposes. So let's type in store name and this is for location. We're not going to see any location for this, but let's say the customer is from a different country or they're from the United States, but they just got a quick glimpse of your ad on Facebook and they told themselves that they'll purchase the item later but it's completely forgot about it. And two or three days later it comes back to them that they wanted to purchase the product but they can't find your ad again on Facebook. Now what they are going to know based on your ad is just your store's name if it's a small name that they could remember. But if it's not they're going to try a funky thing. So let's say your store's name is just store name. They may try to write it like store space name or stores name what i'm basically trying to tell you guys is they'll mess up the letters just because they're not sure of exactly what your website was called and they'll try to do these searches in order to find your website again on google the first thing is with this company search campaign 
Even if they mess up some of the words within this name, if the overall name does match your store, they're going to be shown your ad. Second thing is when they're shown your ad, they're going to be much more inclined to trust you because after all, they're seeing your ad again and it's on Google this time. So you just expanded your reach by going on to Google from Facebook and you also establish a sort of trust factor in that customer. So that is exactly why I run these ads and why I recommend running them. If you guys did see earlier, I only spent around $180 for a return of $1,000. It was above $1,000 actually. And I would spend $180 for over $1,000 back any day. So going back to location, I would target all countries and territories just because if they try to mess up your name, they'll be shown your ad. And this is also only if you do worldwide targeting. But if you only target US or in Canada, then by all means just click on US and Canada but for our specific example we're gonna do all countries and once you do that languages you wanna leave it at English and the budget is up to you usually you wanna start at ten dollars per day so let's just type in ten dollars sorry I typed in twenty but ten dollars delivery method you wanna keep it at standard you don't want it to be accelerated and the bidding what you want to be doing is basically changing this from conversions to clicks because this is a new campaign for you guys your Google ad pixel does not have enough data for this so we want to set the maximum CPC bid limit at one dollar and when you start getting in data that's when you're gonna go in and optimize your campaign but another thing that you can do is go ahead and click on use a portfolio strategy and when you click on that it immediately changes the option to create new portfolio strategy you want to go ahead and click on this again and click on enhance CPC. So basically what enhance CPC does is it's a form of maximize clicks but enhance CPC basically adjusts your manual bids up or down to help you basically get more conversion. So it does all of the work and you don't have to change the maximum CPC bid limit as you go but that's why you want to click on enhance CPC and for the name you can just again type in example search campaign or just example or whatever you want basically but once you do that go ahead go scroll down and this is exactly where all of the magic happens because this is where we create the actual ads so here are a bunch of options dynamic search ads is where we create the headline and the description for our ad we can select any specific audiences and for site links and extensions you want to have site links and extensions also call out extensions in a second we'll be going to our Google Doc and I'll be showing you guys exactly what these are but for now just know that you need both of these and call extensions is where you can just enter your phone number if you have one for your customer this basically adds another trust factor to your ad but let's go back to our Google Doc where I have typed all of this out to show you guys exactly what you need to be doing Alright guys, we're here in our Google Doc and I'm going to be explaining each of the specific categories that I just mentioned in the previous video for you guys. So the most important thing is audiences. Exactly who are we going to be even targeting for this specific company search campaign. This is actually going to be really easy for you because all we're going to be doing is using quotes to write our specific audiences. The reason we use quotes in order to do the audience targeting is because we want to have a phrase match. Quotes means phrase match. Meaning even if they screw up the some of the letters in the middle, they're still going to be shown your specific ad. But as I have mentioned over here, what you want to basically do is just put it in quotes, simply your store name, and then you want to add some variations to this. So you could add store and then space name. If you have two different words for your store name, you could have store names, just add an S to the end of your store name. Or you could also do store name and one of your popular items that maybe is a winning product. You want to add that item as well over here. So just to go in further in depth, let's say our store name is example. So what we would do is simply do quote example. For the second part, we would do ex examples because we are not unable to put a space in this name. So we would skip right over to the store names and then the store name item. So example. And then let's say you have a winning product that's a, that's a fridge. So you would do example fridge. And you guys get the point. But this is exactly how you want to be targeting for your specific audience. The next step is the dynamic search ad. You get to choose all of these things when you click the next button. And it takes you to the next screen. But the text I'm showing you here, the layout, is exactly what was a winning layout for me. And it's a very simple layout. For the main title, what you want to do is write in your store name. And then you want to add this little line which is found above your enter key. And then you want to add a catch phrase. So maybe like if you have a cat store, you could add something like best cat accessories. Or let's write that down, best cat accessories. 
you can play around with this. You want to make sure you have three different ad copies for this company search campaign. So for the two other ads, you want to basically switch this around and play around with it to see which gives you a higher CTR, which is click through rate. And for the description, this is where you want to basically explain your products and your store. Again, you could play around with this for the different ad copies, but one thing you want to make sure to have in each of the ad copies is that the first letter of each word is capitalized. You want it to pop out and basically be clear to the person viewing this ad. In the previous screen, I showed you guys site link extension and color extension told you guys this is important so for site link extension you want to have something like contact us testimonials item categories faqs etc basically all of the things which will add more trust for you and your store it's really easy to create these just go ahead and click on site links and then it'll give you the option of creating these so just link each of these specific ones to the specific page on your store and then call out extensions these are basically something like 100% money back guarantee, 24-7 customer service, etc. You don't have to link anything to these, just make sure to have them. And I've pulled out a Google company search campaign for you guys. And this is for Jansport Backpacks. It's a reputated company and all I did to find this was just type in Jansport. And as you can see their ad popped up. But if you look at their overall format, it's very similar to what I've shown you guys. They have their store name along with their item name for this one specifically because it's mostly backpacks. And they have the line here which I mentioned and then a catchphrase. And if you look at their description, the first letter is also capitalized for every single word. And they have some item categories over here. But this is the general layout you want to have for your company search campaign. And trust me guys, if you do follow this tutorial, it's going to give you an amazing ROI. Follow it exactly as we went through. Watch this video twice if you have to, but make sure to follow this tutorial exactly as I went over it, and you guys will see as good results as I have been seeing. But just a little disclaimer, if you're somewhat new to dropshipping, this may not work for you right away because people don't really know your brand and its name, but once you start putting out ads, you should definitely get this setup because it's only going to spend if someone types in your store's name. But if you guys did find any type of value in this video, make sure to hit that little like button down below. That just lets me know that I should be putting out even more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.